All right, you guys, I need to just come out and say this. I lied to you, okay? I lied to you again. I know this freaking happens all the time, and I'm a terrible host, okay? I know I'm a terrible host, but I need to just get this off my chest, okay? There's not going to be a special edition meta map. There's actually going to be two. <laughs> Love the way you laugh. video I got a really awkward phone call where I was informed that I spilled the beans on something that Metamats wasn't releasing yet. And how I spilled the beans guys is I said that the new Cyber Dragon mat, the new special Cyber Dragon mat was going to be printed on the new Metamats waterproof material. That is not true at all. Actually the anniversary mat that I wasn't supposed to talk about yet is what's going to be printed on the waterproof material. Yeah. So guys, that was my bad. I was getting two materials mixed together. I wasn't supposed to announce that yet, and I did, but it's all okay because you guys would have found out about it anyways. Metamats isn't mad, but it's, everything's all good. And you know, like I said yesterday, we're friends and stuff. Everything's all good and gravy. I just need to inform you guys that the new Cyber Dragon mat isn't going to be printed on the new waterproof material. No, no, it's not. I actually had forgotten that we're going to be printing the new Cyber Dragon mat on something way freaking cooler. The special edition Cyber Dragon mats that are coming out tomorrow are going to have a special backing on them called Daddy's Robe. It's a sweet backing. It's a black backing. It actually helps grip tables better. It's very similar to the one-of-a-kind Spirit of the Warrior mat that I just gave away. Otherwise, I would show you guys, you know, uh, that kind of backing. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty similar. And the limited Cyber Dragon mat comes out tomorrow, guys, and it's going to be a limited print run of 10 mats. That's just how it has to be, guys. It's just going to be 10 mats with the new Daddy's Robe backing, but the design itself is not limited, guys. The design itself is not limited. So, in other words, after the 10 limited limited edition mats, you know, with the new backing on them so out. Every mat after that will be a regular meta mat without the special backing, but it's still a meta mat. It's still the best custom mat out there. So just to clarify, guys, the limited edition Cyber Dragon mat comes out tomorrow. It's going to be $70. That's going to be for the special one for the regular Cyber Dragon mat. In other words, without the Daddy's Rope special backing, it's just going to be a normal $60 two-player mat. And now, if you guys are wondering about the waterproof material because you thought that that was really, really cool, I don't know the exact release date yet because, once again, this is something I I wasn't supposed to spill the beans on, but now you guys know about it. But expect that one year anniversary mat to come out with that material later this month sometime. Once again, I don't have all the information on that. But now with that whole mess cleaned up and out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the new Celestial Sextant. Celestial Sextant is a normal spell card coming out of Cybernetic Horizon. I swear, guys, it's like they just keep giving me cards that I want and need for my decks. It's amazing. It's freaking amazing. But um, it's a normal spell card, like I was saying. Its effect reads, you can only activate one Celestial Sextant per turn, a return one level six monster from your hand or that is face up on your side of the field to the bottom of its owner's deck and draw two cards. And if you guys haven't figured out why I'm excited about this card yet, it's because of course I play Heralds. It's one of the decks I play. I play Monarchs, Heralds, Cyber Dragons, Necros. Sometimes I play uh, Magicians. I play uh, Dark Magicians. I play, well, I play, just play all kinds of decks, guys. But a long story short here, to make a very, very long story short here, it is going to be kind of low key Herald support. And that is why I'm super excited about this card because uh, heralds have a really hard time going seconds you know it's it's, it's a go first deck it's a it's a hey i have my heralds out and six negates in hand so you can't really do anything you know style of deck so uh, that being said having an extra draw card to try to draw into your sticks and chairs um is really really good because um, if you summon out your herald guys heralds like this 1800 attack monster don't get me wrong and it can you know negate stuff uh, but um usually when you have this herald out going second it's not really doing anything for you unless you have another copy of herald that you you can summon so you can overlay for like Utopia Beyond or something to zero out your opponent's monsters. In other words, guys, the deck really is a go first deck. It has a really hard time going second. That's kind of what I'm getting at here. This card, guys, um, not only helps the deck, you know, kind of dig into more uh, cards possibly that could be better for going second, but mainly, uh, namely, it helps you draw into like your sticks and chairs and stuff. Not to mention, uh, you can go ahead and like summon out Herald, you know, using Benton, search out a stick, for example, then activate this card and uh, spin that Herald to the bottom of your deck and draw two cards and maybe draw to a chair and stick chair you know what I mean and go off from there because going second guys are usually with heralds you end up you know hoping for stick chair and trying to get those cards in your hands because the stick gives you a pop and a draw which is really good and you go into Deltaros with the sticks and chairs and uh, Deltaros is fantastic so in other words guys going into Deltaros uh, with the stick you get a pop off the stick and then you get another pop off the Deltaros so it makes sense to go into that card going second but um, with the sticks and chairs and stuff I mean yes you can search
search, you know, stick or chair off of Harold, you know, using Benton. But even then, guys, going second in Harold's, it seriously always still feels like you're hoping, like hoping to draw your sticks and chairs. At least that's how it is for me. Maybe not all the time, 100% of the time, but let's be real. Going second, uh, sticks and chairs are probably your best bet in Harold's. I mean, unless you're playing Honest and other things. But in my build, I found that playing, you know, going second cards in there just made it harder for the deck to go first if you break. If you, in other words, if you drew an Honest, when that card could have been, I don't know, like a Prep of Rights or something that could have, you know, finished your hand and made, made you, you know, get to a better board, that Honest can just really break your hands unless you are going second. That's kind of what I'm getting at here. So in other words, guys, uh, this card could really help Heralds. It could really help Heralds go first or second, which is something that you should fear. Don't get me wrong, okay? But I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it because I play Heralds and I like playing Heralds, but um, that remains to be seen if the card's going to be really, really good in Heralds. I mean, I think it will be, but we'll see, you know, like I said, it remains to be seen. We never know, you know, how good cards are going to be. I'm not going to stand here and tell you guys, you know, with absolute certainty, in fact, that something is going to be good and broken when I don't know that for sure. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I try not to lie to you guys unless I'm excited about my new Cyber Dragon, Matt. But I also had some people message me saying that the card was going to be good in uh, Hieratic Dragons, which I could see because they do have some level 6s, but I had someone message me and go, hey, this is going to be really good in Monarchs. That really confused me. I mean, I know Monarchs have level 6 monsters like Caius, for example, or Karaz that are pretty good. Probably like the best ones besides like Thessalos, but I mean, anyways, guys, you know what the best Monarchs are. I don't need to sit here and tell you, but um, I think that using this card in Monarchs would kind of defeat the purpose because your best card in Monarchs is debatably Domain. And it's your main win condition in Monarchs these days is Domain. That's how I feel about the deck anyways. Because Domain locks your opponent out of their extra deck. So I don't know what the advantage would be, you know, summoning out a Monarch and then making Domain live just to turn it off by drawing cards. I, I don't know. So I just don't see what this card would get you. And if you do shuffle back from hand, you're shuffling back a monster you could have tribute summoned. I just don't see it being that good. I mean, I could be wrong. You know, this could be, you know, one of these cards you play with like level sixes to try to, you know, unbreak your monarch hands more, I guess. Maybe similar to how people have tried trade in and monarchs or something like that. But I don't know, guys. I'm not really sure. I just think that this card really is aimed at heralds and maybe high Erotics, but I am not 100% sure. All I know is, guys, that it feels really weird for Konami to keep coming out with all this stuff that seems like directly linked to me all the time. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I ask for Cyber Dragon Sport. I play Cyber Dragons. I ask for Cyber Dragon Sport. I get it. I play Heralds. I don't ask for Herald supports, but I get it. I, I don't know, guys. I have no idea why Konami does the things that they do. And I wish that they would tip me off about this stuff beforehand so I could actually, you know, play the card and test it and stuff. Because unlike the new Cyber Dragon cards, guys, you know, where I could just kind of slap them in my Cyber Dragon deck and, you know, play out hands and stuff. Plus, I've played Cyber Dragons for a really long time. So, I mean, I know the combo's like crazy, you know what I mean? I played the deck like way too long, way, way too long. Uh, but, the, but the difference between uh, doing that and Heralds and why I'm not showing you guys how to play this card in Heralds right now is because it really changes up. It could potentially change up the entire deck like more so than the new cyber dragon cards have changed cyber dragons like at least in my deck profile anyways like how I've been playing cyber dragons and uh, testing out the new cyber dragon cards for you guys is that uh, as they've been releasing them I've just been putting them in my normal cyber dragon deck I haven't been at really testing with other cards that are going to be coming out in cybernetic horizon uh, when it comes to heralds I would try to do the same thing but with heralds you have like a lot of different one ups and things and like you know certain ways that you play the deck and certain ways that you execute your combos every single time you guys Guys, you Herald players probably know what I'm talking about, so it really kind of messes up the whole order of the deck. So in other words, guys, unlike the new Cyber Dragon cards, I'm not going to be able to, you know, sit down and show you guys how to play this card in Heralds today. Probably a different day, maybe if I do some sort of updated deck profile, but right now, uh, as of today, I haven't had the time to sit there and play, you know, the card in my deck and uh, see how it plays out and stuff. So guys, in closing on this card, I really, really like it. I think that it has a lot of potential. Hopefully they don't print it in some sort of higher rarity or something like that, because I would really like to play it three of an, uh, you know, Heralds and, and test this in just all kinds of different decks. It's so similarly to how, you know, I may, may or may not have tested Demise in a bunch of decks when, uh, you know, Card of Demise came out. <laughs> I tested that card in Evil Swarms and Cosmos and God, God knows. I'm just pick your anti-meta-ish deck or anti-meta style deck. I probably tested Card of Demise in it, guys, at one point or another. It's a freaking crazy card. Uh, similarly, though, I would really like to test this card in a bunch of decks. Uh, primarily Heralds, of course, but, you know, you guys know how biased I could be and stuff about my 
my decks. But guys, I would love to hear what decks you think this card could go in down in the comment section because I'm genuinely interested because I think this card could be very, very good or it could just be a small splash in a big pond. We don't know yet, guys. We don't know yet. But until we do know, guys, let's go ahead and get into some fan mail. All right, you guys, this one is from a Joshua Johnson. So let's see what he has to say. All right, so what do we have in here? We have a letter, um, looks like a return envelope. Yeah, that's his return envelope. And that is all out of that. Let's see what's in this, though. A bunch of cards and a letter, hopefully. Yeah, we have a letter. Sweet. Let's see uh, Let's see what this says. Let's see what my instructions are. Uh, dear uh, dear Yugi, uh, no, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I am Joshua. I love playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, trying to make a Dark Magician deck. And, uh, and deck just Dark Magician and his friends without other monsters. So a pure Dark Magician deck. Uh, can you sign my cards in black sleeves and can you keep the cards in red sleeves? Absolutely. Thank you so much. And I'll absolutely sign uh, and, get, and get everything back to you. Um, can I ask you a few questions? Absolutely. Question number one. Uh, do you have any tips for a Dark Magician deck? Um, you know, I, I was messing around with Dark Magicians. If you guys, you know, watch the fan mail and stuff. You guys even sent me the Dark Magician stuff. I was really thinking about messing, messing around with Dark Magicians for a bit. Um, what happened, I'm going to be I'm gonna be honest with you guys, okay? I dropped the deck because I kept losing with it. <laughs> like, and I, it was just it's, just, it's not that Dark Magicians aren't good. It's just that it seems like other decks are just that much better. You know what I mean? Um, it was, it's kind of the same problem you have when, you run, you, when you're playing like any kind of rogue it's not that you build it badly you know it's just that you know the newest stuff is always just a little bit better you know what i mean it's just always, it's just always is so uh, my tips would be um uh, i don't i mean just off the top of my head i don't really have any but um, i will say just uh, look at whatever look at other you know top um, dark magician deck profiles look on youtube there's there's plenty of them you know look at top uh, dark magician deck profiles take notes from the, those guys seriously they're not only their card choices but what they're saying about their matchups and stuff because uh, what they're saying like their notes and stuff um you know like their tournament reports will really help you if you really want to win with Dark Magician. So that would be that would be my advice. It would be to watch players um, that are better than me with Dark Magicians, way better than me, and take notes from them. <laughs> that would be my advice. So um, so uh, do uh, Dark Magicians uh, have Link Monsters? No, I do not believe so. Uh, question number three. Um, have you seen any disabled player playing Yu-Gi-Oh? I am disabled with Cerebral Palsy. Yes, absolutely. Um, oh my gosh. So, um, yeah, um, uh, Philip Rosa. Philip Rosa, the guy who um, seriously suggested some right here next to me uh cosmic compass um the guy who who uh, informed me about this card and like made it known to me that this was a card <laughs> like I'm, I'm being serious guys i have a i have a video planned where i sh where i'm probably going to show off my whole arsenal of cyber dragon cards like cards that I keep in mind uh, for potential like basically just a whole list of potential cards that could go in cyber dragons right i have a whole giant list i have a whole giant list of cards that are potent that could potentially go in any sort of deck i mean every every player kind of has like that mental list except i actually have a mental list and an actual list of cards that could go in like various different decks that I'm interested in, but that's neither here nor there. Um, bottom line, um, in my list and in my findings and stuff, this slipped under my radar somehow, and it blew my mind. <laughs> it completely blew my mind when Philip, um, you know, made me aware of this card. And I was just like, oh, and it's a, and it's a machine duplication target, and it spawns tokens. I was like, you know, what I mean, the fireworks started going off in my head. <laughs> you know, what I mean, that's what and that's what led to uh, the Cosmic Compass uh, Cyber Dragon deck. Seriously, and um, you know, it's similar to when Sam was like, when I was messing with Cyber Dragons and I completely had forgotten that Artifact Dorindle was a card. Don't ask me why, but sometimes I just forget things, guys, like I'm human, you know? And, um... I, f I completely forgot Dorinda was a card, so I had never really played Brilliant Fusion and Cyber Dragons. I was like, dude, the deck is bricks enough. You don't need to add Brilliant Fusion. You know what I mean? Like, sending a light, you know, sending Cyber Dragons great and all, but this and this and that. You know, and like, and I was like, when Seraphonite's great is level five and all, but you know, dry and this and that. And uh, Sam was just like, but you can make Dorinda and like just shuffle, you know, uh, unbreak your hands with Seraphonite. And I was just like, cool. <laughs> you know? And then the fireworks started going off again. <laughs> you know? Like, sometimes, guys, sometimes, guys, um, you just get hung up. You just get Get hung up but anyways anyway so yes i absolutely know a disabled player I, i'm actually he's one of my patrons he's a he's a good friend of mine um yeah like uh, i absolutely know a disabled player and uh he, he's freaking great he's an amazing guy and um yeah so you're, you're not alone you're, you're you are not alone seriously you are not but 
Um, I, I like uh, watching uh, watching you uh, talking about Yu-Gi-Oh and making funny videos. Keep it up, you new slash ongoing fan, Joshua. Dude, if you keep watching, I will keep making them, I promise, because I really, um, I really, really love what I do. I do. I love doing this. It's just everything else that kind of gets in the way sometimes, seriously. But, um, yeah, because, you know, things happen outside of Yu-Gi-Oh. Sadly, in a perfect world, guys, in a perfect world, I would do nothing but this all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? All the time. But, but sadly, you know, uh, it's not a perfect world. But, dude, Joshua, absolutely. I will sign these and get them right back your way. Let's see what you sent to sign, though. And thank you so much for the cards, dude. Seriously, thank you so, so much for the cards. Exodia, the forbidden one. <laughs> I will, dude, I'm going to be signing Exodia. Ooh, I'm going to be signing a full set of Exodia, a pot of greed to draw into Exodia, and then a five-headed dragon. Dude, absolutely, absolutely. Let's see what else you sent. Keep. What? Oh, dude, BLS, so goat stuff. What? Dude, more stuff for the goat binders. Thank you so much. A uh, King's Knight, a uh, Queen's Knight, Jack's Knight, King's Knight, Queen's Knight, Jack's Knight. Emblem of Dragon Destroyer, the A Forces, Magic Formula, Compulsory Evacuation Device, Chain Destruction, Deep Fusion, Mirror Force, and of uh, Mirror Force and BLS. Dude, thank you so much. That is so freaking cool. I actually, seriously, I'm um, actually even next to me. I, I seriously do guys I don't I don't make this stuff up I seriously do have goat binders where I just put in like anything that could potentially be good in goat format or is just known to be good in goat format like Jinzos, a Don Zalug, like I like goats <laughs> you know what I, mean? I seriously just like uh, collect them like anything that could potentially be good like I really just love playing a uh, you know Yu-Gi-Oh in general you guys all know that and I play you know because I like playing Yu-Gi-Oh in general I play multiple formats of Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, because I play multiple formats and goat being like you know my second favorite format of all time um, <laughs> It's, it's necessary for me to have two goat binders to keep all my stuff in. Not to mention, you guys are always, you know, sending me, like, more and more, you know, goat stuff. And I like, um, you know, when I when I actually do get to go to locals and stuff, I really like introducing people to goat format and stuff. And I really like having these binders on me so that if someone's interested in the format, you know, and I have, like, all these common, like, scapegoats and stuff, I can start ripping cards out and just give them to them. Like, you're play, you know what I mean? Like, play me. Let's build a deck. It's, it's just really great. Like, thank you guys so much for that, seriously. And then, speaking of goat stuff, freaking Breaker, Dark Renewal, that's cool. Um, um, dark uh, magical uh, dark, dark I was the dark magical girl dark magician girl what is wrong with me <laughs> dark, dark magician uh, dark magician of chaos gold sark black illusion swords of revealing light buster blader skilled dark magician and dark magician dude thank you so so much for the dark magician cards like I'm seriously like since you guys have sent me so much of them I have just a I have a dark magician collection now of ulti dark magicians the you know the red dark magician like the arcana dark magician just like all kind you know you just you know all kinds of stuff you guys are just absolutely amazing and dude you are extra amazing thank you so much like you are you seriously like you you're not alone you know with you with your with your disease you're, you're seriously not alone philip rosa and i'm sure many other Yu-Gi-Oh players that we don't know and, and don't you know know what from youtube and stuff um are out there anyways though my point is you're not alone and i wish you great luck in in Yu-Gi-Oh and your career and thank you just so much for watching you don't know how much it means to me like seriously and i will keep making videos as long as you keep watching thank you so much for watching Subscribe! <laughs>